squad. Missy World back to present Topic Tuesday. Another segment of Topic Tuesday and Topic Number Two. Once again, one over Topic Number One. It was a close poll this week, so I'm gonna say to both the fans that sent me the topics, thank you. Those were great topics. I like Topic Number One. I like Topic Number Two. I actually like Topic Number One better than Topic Number Two, but I knew that the females was gonna put Topic Number Two in there because they need answers. You feel what I'm saying? But um. Before I get into Topic Tuesday, I got to just say, man, I appreciate all the love y'all giving on Movie Monday. Like, y'all must love that segment. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I got it just gives me a feeling of me being on the right track and then I'm doing something right here. You feel what I'm saying? So, much love. I appreciate it. You dig what I'm saying? But the, the winning topic, topic number two is, why do people, mainly men, get held down while they in jail or in prison but when they come home, they do the people that held them down just absolutely wrong. Mainly they girlfriends, you feel what I'm saying? So I got a few different reasons. This is probably going to be one of my shortest Topic Tuesday segments simply because I'm going to get straight to the point, you feel what I'm saying? Ain't too much details to go into. Listen, we, we know why these niggas come home and they do their motherfucking thing, you feel what I'm saying? But uh, the first reason I feel as though these dudes get held down in jail and come home and do them wrong is because... Y'all females be holding down crumb ass niggas. Y'all don't be holding down thorough street niggas or thorough motherfuckers in general. Y'all be holding down, oh, oh, go to the store and get five packs of backwoods, you bitch ass nigga. Ass nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, uh, hey, babe, I need a couple dollars to get this pack money right. Ass nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, babe, can I drive your car to hit this lick? Ass nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all gotta stop fucking with these crumb ass niggas and assuming that if they go to jail or they go through something major, that they automatically gonna become thorough. Like, no. You feel what I'm saying? Once a crumb ass, bum ass nigga, always a crumb ass, bum ass nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all can't expect no different just because his game got a little tighter because he in jail. No. You know what I'm saying? He got niggas on his ass up there. You know what I mean? So he gotta make sure he coming home or something. You know what I mean? He got to make sure he, he he got you locked down. You know what I mean? So you can be sending him the motherfucking, uh, the, the, the money on his books, paying for his uh, phone cards, and answering them collect calls, uh, writing them letters, all that shit. So of course he won't finesse you because he needs you to get through that stint. You know what I mean? But as soon as he come home, he right back to that crumb-ass, bum-ass nigga's ways. You feel what I'm saying? So... Reason number one why dudes be in jail and be getting held down by thorough ass females and they come home and do them dirty is because they be crumb ass, bum ass niggas that y'all shouldn't have been holding down in the first place. You dig? The, the next reason I feel as though dudes go to jail and get held down just to come back and do the people that held them down just downright dirty and wrong is because sometimes we, as the people that hold these people down, like the friends and mainly the girlfriends <clears throat> or the family <coughs> is that sometimes we too loyal you feel what i'm saying we we hold them down too much for people that already made the decisions that's landing them in jail you feel what i'm saying so in turn instead of being appreciative of us throwing a welcome home party or us writing letters or us accepting their calls now it's an obligation you feel what i'm saying now they no you obligated to do this i'm in jail what you Bro, life don't go on pause just because you made your decision and you got caught. My life still goes on. Your life is on pause, not mine. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's 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 kind of our fault as well because we too loyal. We we be holding them down too much. So now in turn, instead of being appreciative of that because they are the ones that made their decision, they are the ones that landed them in the prison cell, now they feeling obligated. Now motherfuckers getting locked up just to have fucking going away parties or coming home parties. You feel what I'm saying? Now niggas getting locked up just to go get away for a little. Like, come on, man. For for the second reason, now the second reason I feel as though, you know what I'm saying, dudes go to jail and get held down all crazy just to come home and do the people downright dirty that held them down is simply because they're not appreciative. They feel as though we're supposed to do that. You feel what I'm saying? It's not an obligation. I'm going to let y'all people know this. Once you make your decision, regardless of what it is, and you come down and you're found guilty or not guilty. That's on you. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody else isn't doing that time with you. Nobody's obligated to answer those calls. Nobody's obligated to write you. Nobody's obligated to come up there and see you. You feel what I'm saying? So be appreciative of the people that are doing those things. Because as you sit in that cell, 
Life still goes on. The world's still spinning. You feel what I'm saying? We can't go on pause. So reason number two is that we too loyal and we hold them down too much to a fault. You know what I mean? Now on to the last reason that I feel as though dudes that get held down and taken care of while they in jail come home just to do the people that held them down absolutely wrong. And that's because most niggas love to most niggas love to lie to get what they want and need anyway. Regardless if they a free man or if they in the cell. You feel what I'm saying? And even more so why they in the cell. Because when you in that cell, you don't know what you coming back home to. So one thing that you need to make sure it's solidified is your woman. Your woman probably going to make sure you're going to have a place to stay. You're going to have something to eat. you probably going to have a couple dollars when you get home. So niggas going to make sure that they, that they manipulate you enough that they going to come home and at least be good enough to get back on their feet and then find new bitches. Because that's what niggas do. You feel what I'm saying? They come home, they probably be chilling for a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. They might find a little gig. You might toss them a couple dollars. Now you're getting a fresh cut. He got a fresh life. Oh, now he's looking at them other bitches. I think that was his plan the whole time. You feel what I'm saying? And this ties into the first one. If the nigga wasn't trying to make an honest woman out of you as a as a free man, don't assume just because he's he's going to jail that he's going to come home and be a changed man. You feel what I'm saying? Stop that. Yeah, man. And at the end of the day, it shouldn't take life or death situations for people to wake up because you may be waiting for that a, a jail sentence or you getting shot just to awaken and to say, all right, mature and grow up. But that life sentence, I mean, that that... That jail sentence that you waiting for to wake you up might be a life sentence. It might be your last jail sentence. You feel what I'm saying? You getting shot to wake you up? That shit might not be a shot to your shoulder or a shot to your leg. That shit might be a head shot. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I'm here. I know it's hard for people to grow out of that, but that's why I'm here to bring, to shine new light and and uh, have people thinking differently about appreciating the people that go above and beyond for them. You feel what I'm saying? So the last reason I feel as though Niggas get held down in jail and then come home and do the people that held them down absolutely wrong is that most niggas love to manipulate. They love to lie to get what they want and need. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, at the end of the day, they need those females in there while, while they going through they do they little sentence. Because those are the ones that's going to be putting money on their books. Those are the ones that's going to be answering the calls. Those are the ones that's going to be writing back. Those are the ones that's going to be sending pictures. You feel what I'm saying? Those are the ones that's going to be coming up there and visiting them. It ain't going to be the friends. It ain't going to be your mama. That though, like, like I said, that though, your friends and your mama going to keep it real. Yo, I mean, bro, I, I got shit to do, bro. You know what I mean? I, I got shit to do. I ain't got time to be driving eight hours all the way the fuck up there just to see you for one hour and then drive back eight hours. I ain't got time. I love you, but I see you when you come home. You feel what I'm saying? But them females, them girlfriends, those wives, they going to do it. They going to take those trips. You know what I mean? With they kids. Send them through the, the whole getting search process and all that shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my last reason is that niggas love to manipulate to get what they want. Regard, whether it's this shit of manipulating a woman to hold him down while he's in this cell and while, he, while his life is on pause. Or whether it's to get pussy, whether it's to have a place to stay, whether it's to get some food, whether, whatever it is. Niggas love to manipulate to get what they want and need. You feel what I'm saying? So be aware of that. But let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. Mizzy World Topic Tuesday. I told y'all this was going to be one of my shortest Topic Tuesdays just because I was getting straight to the point. I ain't had no much details to go into. You feel what I'm saying? Shit was simple. Shit, this, this, shit, this shit just came to me. You dig what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think. Uh, let me know why y'all think dudes get held down and, and really taken care of while they... You know what I'm saying? Doing they, they sentences just to come home and do the people that held them down and took care of them totally wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think of my reasons. Um, Don't know what the fuck it is. Messy World, Topic Tuesday, bitch. Messy World coming back with a little bonus coverage. I'm going to uh, throw this one in there. Would I hold down my girlfriend if she was to go to jail? Yes, because I know for a fact that I'm not dealing with no chick that's constantly putting herself in a position to go away. So if my chick was to go away, I know it's because she was protecting me. She was protecting her. She was protecting our family. She was doing something that's reasonable and logical, not some dumb shit. I'm not holding down no bitch that's got to do one to three for fucking uh, assault and battery or some dumb shit like that. I'm not. No, we ain't doing that. I ain't Clyde and you ain't Bonnie, bitch. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, this is a little advice, man. Since y'all 
I mean, I try to steer y'all away from just wanting to love these streets. The streets don't love you back. But since y'all just so hell-bent on this shit, let me give y'all some advice for the ladies. If you're dealing with a street nigga, make sure he getting money in what he's doing. If he's not getting money in the streets, advise him to get the fuck out. Going to trial and fighting a murder, uh, uh, armed robbery, assault with a battery weapon, uh, attempted murder with a PD, it, you may as well just plead guilty. Just plead guilty, nigga. Don't fight it. I mean, if you're going to trial, fighting those charges with a PD, just plead guilty, my nigga. And then it, it's not even about the lawyer money. You're supposed to have stash money for them rainy days. So when you are putting the money on his books, it's not your hard-earned money that you're working 40 hours a week for or 40-plus hours a week for. It's the money he got stashed from the shit that he did in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? He go do that time. You're supposed to, all right, well, I can go get a, a, a bag or, or, or I can get some. I can get something. You feel what I'm saying? Because he left the stash with me. You feel what I'm saying? He expect this much to, when he come back, but he expect this much of every month on his books. Let me go buy something real quick. You feel what I'm saying? So, learn life. You know what I mean? I, I know how much y'all love this shit just because of the fame and how much people talk about y'all. And listen, do, if you're going to do it, do it right. And if you're going to bang with a motherfucker that's doing that, make sure he's doing it right before y'all get caught the fuck up together. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all both doing life or y'all both getting caught in that wheel when a nigga hop out with an AK. And now y'all stuck. Now you wishing you was dating old boy that work at motherfucking Kinkos. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my little bonus coverage. My advice, if you going to do this street shit, do it right. If you going to hold down the street nigga, make sure he does it right. So, therefore, it's not that burden on you all the time. That's what I see nowadays. Bitches be fucking with street niggas, but they be giving more money to them than the fiends. You feel what I'm saying? Instead of putting they stash money on the books, she taking money out of her check once a month to put money on his books. That's not how this shit go. You know what I mean? Learn life.